So here at KS Audio in the showroom, I listened to the VC line system and there was absolutely no comp filtering going on. There was no phasing. Everything sounded the same in the back of the room and the front of the room. It was totally a clear, transparent sound. Welcome. Today we are in the showroom of KS Audio. My name is Howard Hackers. I'm an audio engineer for 25 years. And today we're going to talk about the VC line array, KS Audio. For those viewers who don't know you yet, can you tell us something about your history in Pro Audio and which artists you have worked with over the years? I am a live sound engineer and I have worked with artists such as Roger Hudson, formerly of Supertramp, Liza Minnelli, Art Garfunkel, Christopher Cross, to name a few. With Roger Hudson, I almost did a thousand shows all around the world. Same for Liza Manelli, I did many European tours and also tours in South America or United States. I do about 250 to 300 shows in a year. So I've been around the world quite a few times. That's an impressive career. Which artists were a real challenge for you to do the front of house for and why? The real challenge of all this is that with Roger Hudson, every day we had a different PA. Every day it was a different venue and every day it was a different acoustic. So the problem is that First of all, you learn a lot of that, but um, the problem is that you have to work with the system what you provided with. Um, later, in a later stadium, we used our own PA system, which makes uh, things a lot easier because you know the system, you know the problems eventually. Uh, you just have to participate to the acoustics of the venue. That was the same with Liza Manelli, for instance. Uh, and we started with an own PA system, so I knew if my settings in the console would, would be right. And later on, we traveled festivals, and then again, we didn't have our own system, so we had to uh, participate with that. In your career, you probably came across speaker systems that make it very difficult for you as a technician. Is there a common reason why it was so difficult to work on these systems? Yes, there are quite a few common reasons why it's difficult to uh, work with different PA systems. Um, myself, I prefer a PA system which comes with a package of amplifiers uh, provided by the company who designed the, uh, the system. The reason for that is that um, there might be a brand and you can buy different amplifiers for that specific brand, um, which in this case would mean that I'm uh, a favorite a system in Belgium or Holland. But if I travel to, let's say, South America, they have the same system, although the amplifiers are different. The processors are different, the settings are different, so you expect to have a clear, nice, preferable PA. However, if you run into the venue and you see they have different amps, different processing, different settings, it makes you worry like, oh my God, what am I going to do now? What conditions do you think a good loudspeaker system should meet? So for me, the most important thing in a PA system is uh, vocal quality. Um, people go to the show to see Roger Hudson or Liza Manelli. Their signature voice, it's very important to have this clarity in the vocal. Uh, and you, the vocal has to be right in your face. That's number one. The second thing in the importance of a PA system would be 
the harmonic and the musicality of the system. First of all, you have the clear vocal, which you have to in your face. The second thing is that the guitars, drum kit, the whole band needs to be harmonic and be spread out in the PA. It is certain that at one of your many jobs, you have worked on a KS audio speaker system. Do you remember this? And if so, why did it stand out? Yes, I do remember that we used the KS systems uh, a few times in Germany on tour with Roger Hudson, formerly of Supertramp. And I do remember because um, the system was very clear And for me, the most important also about the system is that there's not a lot of noise in the back of the system. And Roger has a small voice, so I have to boost that vocal quite a lot not to run into any feedbacks. And I remember those shows we did in Germany with KS. We didn't run in those problems, having those low-end feedbacks. And also I remember because it was really, it was a well-hang system. It was a very clear system. And I remember I was quite happy after the show um, with the sound. Today you are invited here at KS Audio in the showroom in Hetten Leidelheim. What is your first impression? My impression is very positive. Um, this is a great sounding showroom and the guys of KS have every system available to listen to. So it's very impressive. Howard, you've now heard a number of KS speaker systems, from very compact to the large line array and everything in between. What's your impression? I was very impressed about every system. I brought uh, a little console with me with a multi-track recording so I can bring in some drums, bass and vocals. And it's really impressive how clear the vocal appears, it's right in your face. So overall it was a very impressive uh, meeting here at KS. Howard, you have listened extensively to the latest development of KS Audio, the WC line. A line array with variable acoustic lens technology, Veltec. What specifically strikes you about this system? The guys of KS Audio told me that every element of the VC line contains the patented Voltec principle. This means that the vertical spread of any element is adjustable to the mechanical curving of the line array. This results in a coherent wavefront of the complete array. The comp filter effect is completely gone. Listening sessions did indeed confirm this was truly the case. So here at KS Audio in the showroom, I listened to the VC line system and there was absolutely no comp filtering going on. There was no phasing. Everything sounded the same in the back of the room and the front of the room. It was totally a clear, transparent sound. Ja, Howard, das will ich dir mal zeigen, wie einfach man diese Baltic Winkelabstrahlung einstellt. Du siehst hier das mechanische Curving des Arrays. Wir haben hier 7,5 Grad, 2,5 Grad, 0 Grad. Mhm. Und jetzt stellen wir hier mit diesem Drehknopf den Abstrahlwinkel ganz genauso ein wie das mechanische Curving. Also wir stellen hier ein 7,5 Grad, wir stellen hier ein 2,5 Grad, hier sind es bereits 0, hier auch nochmal 0. Und das ist alles, was zu tun ist. Okay. Ja, hier habe ich so einen Wellenformer nach dem waltec prinzip hier ist der Eingang für den Treiber, hier die schlitzförmige Austrittsöffnung. Mhm. Dazwischen befinden sich jetzt zwei drehbare Elemente. Der Schall geht hier rein, läuft durch 24 Kanäle bis da vorne wieder zu diesen 24 Austrittsöffnungen. In diesen beiden Elementen ist die Länge der Kanäle unterschiedlich. Das heißt, einmal 
läuft der Schall hier länger, einmal läuft er hier länger. Und wenn ich das jetzt gegeneinander drehe, dann kann ich das so einstellen, dass der Weg hier und hier gleich lang ist. Ich kann es aber auch so einstellen, dass der Weg hier und hier länger wird. Und dadurch ändert sich die Krümmung der Wellenfront, die vorne austritt. Musik